Hello, I'm John Stamps at BMC Software. This video describes how to use the Unified Product Installer to upgrade BladeLogic Server Automation 8.8. Let me give a brief overview of the video. I'm not going to go through the entire list of prerequisites to prepare your environment. The documentation does a great job of that. Make sure that your 8.6 or your 8.7 installed version is working correctly. This includes logging on to the app server, the Pixie server, and the RSCD agents. Broadcast a message to your users that the application server will not be available during the upgrade. The BladeLogic server will not be available during a big chunk of the upgrade. Your users will experience a window of downtime. Currently and somewhat surprisingly, the installer does not upgrade the BMC server automation client on the app server. If you run the RPC client after the upgrade, you see the following nasty error. You absolutely must 100% run the same version of the server with the client. As a wise philosopher once said, when you come to a fork in the road, you must take it. You either manually upgrade the client after the upgrade or you uninstall it. We're going to take the fork less traveled. We're going to uninstall the client from the application server host and then reinstall it on a different host. For the upgrade, download the two required zip files from EPD, the Win64 installer, and the RSCD agents zip file. Then extract the two files. Now drill down into the Win64 folder into the installers directory. Go over to the RSCD agents download and move or copy and paste the RSCD folder into the installers folder. You're now ready to start the upgrade. Before you start the upgrade, take these precautions. If you're running the upgrade on a VM, go in and take a snapshot of the VM. The next thing you should do is go into SQL Server Management Studio under Tasks and do a full backup of the Blade database. Finally, go into the Windows Services and verify the that the application server, the Pixie server, and the RSCD agent are all running. Double click the setup executable and then run the program. Select the language that you want to use and then click OK. Review the welcome. There are two pages of the end user license agreement. Select the agreement on the first page. Select the second page. In the authentication profile, enter your password. Review your environment infrastructure. You want to make sure that all of your servers are up and running. If they're not, you'll have to upgrade them manually later, and you don't want to do that. Preview the upgrade. If you didn't do so already, broadcast a message to your users that the BladeLogic server will be temporarily unavailable during the upgrade. Click the Acknowledgement that we're going to bring down the server for upgrade and then click install. In my test environment, the upgrade took about an hour. When the upgrade is finished, review the summary, make sure that there are no failures, that all the servers are up, the database is migrated successfully, review the log if you want to, and then click Done. 
The only other thing that you should probably do is open up the services window and make sure that all the servers are up and running. The next stage in the upgrade process is to uninstall the old BladeLogic client. On production systems, BMC strongly recommends that you don't run the console on the same system as the application server. So we're going to follow our own advice and uninstall the RCP client. There's two things we have to do first though. We're going to back up the Windows RSC folder. This directory contains several important files including exports and users and secure. So we're going to simply copy and paste a version of the RSC folder. The next thing you need to do is to install the Oracle 64-bit JRE and here's why. You'll notice here in the uninstall program that if you select the BladeLogic Server Automation Console, here it is, the 8.7 version, and click uninstall, you see a severe error. The install program can't find a suitable JVM to launch. So download and install a JRE. So once again, go into the control panel, select uninstall a program, select the BMC BladeLogic Server Automation Console, the 8.7 version, and click uninstall change. This time the wizard opens, select the language, review the welcome window, and click next. Select all of the client utilities for 8.7, preview the uninstallation utilities that are going to be uninstalled, and click uninstall. It takes about a minute or two to completely run through the uninstallation, review the log if you want to, and click done. We're now going to install the BladeLogic client on a new host. The only problem that I encountered during this installation was that I didn't have the right RSCD agent installed. So before you begin, you must install the correct version of the RSCD agent. Here we're going to the file system of the um, app server that we upgraded and we're first going to download the RSCD agents. We're going to copy the RSCD folder to a temp directory. While we're here in the file system, we're going to copy the RCP folder over to the temp directory as well. Open the RSCD folder and find the Windows 64-bit version and then go ahead and install it. We're now ready to install the BladeLogic client. Go into the RCP folder and double click the executable. Select a language, review the welcome, agree to the terms of the license, review the directory to install in. You really do need all of these options and utilities for the console to work properly. Click Next to continue. Now click Install. The installation is actually pretty quick. It took about four to five minutes in my setup. Review the log if you want to and then click Done. Go back into the services and start the RSCD agent. Now launch the server automation console. You have to configure it though before you can start using it. When the login window appears click Options and then click the Authentication Profiles tab and click Add. Add the profile name. I just use default profile because that's what I used earlier when this client was installed on the app server. Add the name of the application server host. We have different options for authentication method. We're going to select Secure Remote Password and then click OK. Enter the username, in our case BL Admin, the password, and click Connect. 
you're going to see an ominous warning that the certificate is not initially trusted. That's because we used a self-signed certificate and not a certificate that comes from a trusted user like VeriSign or Symantec. We want to proceed and if you entered everything correctly you should automatically log right into the upgraded 8.8 .8 server. You can now broadcast a message to your users that the application server is up and running again. We finished upgrading the BSA app server to 8.8 .8, and you've installed a new RCP client to access it. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you for watching.